Okay, everybody, this section right here is called He Said, She Said. And fortunately, I'm She Said. Dear Tierra, my boyfriend always looks at my phone whenever it rings to see who it is. It's really bugging me. What would you do? If every time my phone rang, my partner looked at the screen before handing it to me, I... I wouldn't be mad because I don't have anything to hide, but I would have to question, like, what are you looking for? So, you know, like, it could get a little annoying because, like, I don't have anything to hide and you should know this because you should trust me. So, what are you looking for, buddy? What are you looking for? <laughs> Dear Tierra, whenever we go out, my boyfriend always brings up his ex. It's so annoying. What should I do? If every time me and my mate went out, he mentioned something about his ex that I reminded him of her in some sort of way, I would be so annoyed and I would tell him to eat crap. <laughs> I don't want to hear that, okay? I'm not telling you what you remind me of my ex. And you know, some men are the same, but I don't bring it up, so you don't need to bring it up either, honey, okay? Dear Tierra. My man seriously thinks he is Tracy Morgan, but his jokes are not funny. I can't fake laugh much longer. Any advice? My man always made bad jokes. <clears throat> I would probably fake laugh for a minute, but after a while, I would just have to tell him, baby, that's not your forte and you don't need to say any more jokes anymore, okay? Just relax and let's just watch TV or go out. Stop making these horrible jokes. <laughs> Dear Tierra, my boyfriend's birthday is coming up next week, and I want to do something really special for him. What would you do? Have a candlelit dinner and look in his eyes, because I have this little look with my eyes. It's like this bashful, innocent, but kind of look. <laughs> So I would just look at him with that and we would go to the tub. He would get in, I would wash him down first, then I would get in. Then after the bath, we would go downstairs to dinner. And then after that, we would go into the room and I would put a do not disturb sign on the door. <laughs> Dear Tierra, my man of two years took me out on what I thought was a special dinner. Instead, he ended up dumping me. Help me. I don't know what to do. If you've had your heart broken and you don't know how to get over it, here are some tips. I would go out with my friends first, you know, because they always make me feel good and they say, girl, whatever, screw him. Then I would um, erase all memories, text messages, phone numbers, emails, all that. Erase. You're out. Peace. And like Mariah said, shake it off. You got to keep it pushing. Can't think about it. Just got to keep it moving and you'll meet somebody else. It's simple. It's as simple as you make it. Dear Tierra. My boyfriend and I have been dating for three months and I already know he's the one for me. How can I tell him I love him without it being awkward? Um, if you feel like you love somebody and you don't know how to tell him, my best advice would be to just be straight up, don't beat around the bush, just tell him, I love you and you know, hopefully the feelings are the same. I mean, when you fall in love with somebody, I think the feelings are naturally mutual so you know I'm sure he'll he or she will say that she loves you too or he loves you too so you know just be straight up tell him I love you and just hope for the same response <laughs> and that's that all right everybody it's the sad sad time to say goodbye thanks for hanging out and make sure you go pick up a copy of rolling out check me out in, in it and to stay updated with me, you can check my MySpace page out, MySpace forward slash Tierra Marie. And just keep in contact. New album at that point will be in stores this April 09. Love you. Mwah. Bye. Check out more exclusive videos on rollingout.com.